So the point I was making is I don't just use Facebook. I use the internet and I use computers in a way that I grew up with. And I wanted everyone to come on board and do the same. But I see now everyone's on board. I'm part of the masses too, so I'm not pe putting people down. But the mass that I'm not part of, in the sense of being fooled by the technology, everyone thinks the internet is Facebook, Wikipedia, Amazon to buy stuff, um, Instagram, and one or two others. But apps, you've got a thousand pound phone, thousand pound laptop, and you use it for five or six apps in the main to buy stuff, to show people who and how you are, and to hear bollocks on Facebook and other social, and see bollocks on um, social media platforms. Um, we're not using the full computing powers of these to communicate. In fact, the corporations that provide the apps, they're the ones who are using, they, they get the most use out of our $1,000 devices. What we've done there is we've paid a £1,000 for a um, a device that can compute so fast that these companies can actually sit within your um, computer now, um, you know, Facebook and Microsoft, Amazon and so on, and have just got programs running all day long for free on your computer in order for them to extrapolate data and infer who you are. And to me, that's criminal. And most people can't even think about this or won't even entertain it. And because we need a quick fix and we're getting a little pleasure from it every now and then, we just allow it. And it's like, wow, I'm horrified sometimes. I think I've got a computer, it's mine, it's a personal computer, but Microsoft are in there because I use Windows. I use Linux occasionally now. I kind of need Windows, unfortunately. Um, th th they're in my computer sending data back all the time, watching what I'm doing, seeing which apps I've opened, how long I've been on an app, and who I'm talking to on their programs and stuff. And we actually allow this, it's criminal.